Anthony, you and I have been talking for uh, years and years about crypto, the market, and you've been making predictions that always seem to come true, even as if, if they sound outlandish at the time. Um, I remember you told me 50,000 a few years ago, and it did indeed hit that shortly after you called it. Now you're saying 100,000. Uh, why this target, and, and when do you expect to see it? With Bitcoin and predictions, I have a good ally. Bitcoin's a great ally to have uh, with your predictions. It's going to 100,000. We will see that level for sure, whether it happens uh, by the end of June, my optimistic scenario, or towards the end of the year, ultimately it doesn't matter, but it's fascinating how resilient this asset is. And the more bearish the consensus gets, and this appears to be happening right now, the more bullish I personally get. You know, I spent a lot of time here in New York with a very libertarian crypto crowd at the um, at, at the onset of, of this whole uh, crypto universe. And they were always bullish Bitcoin because the Fed was doing quantitative easing, because um, fiat currencies were just being printed endlessly. But if we see that turn around, if we see the Fed um, start to tighten, raise rates, let its balance sheet run off, isn't that bad for Bitcoin? Well, Matt, let's take a, let's take a step back, like tightening, tapering, you know, reduction of the balance sheet. These are very uh, harsh words uh, with uh, regards to the Fed's action and in particular what they have been doing. I am a contrarian here uh, to most analysts. I think as soon uh, as the S&P and uh, the credit markets correct something to the tune of 20 percent or even you know, 30 percent, we will be back to easing in no time. I don't see the political will for anyone to power through uh, what is necessary uh, uh, to, you know, hike the rates uh, consistently and uh, for an extended periods. I just don't see that on the horizon. You know, the S&P is down year to date two and a half percent and everybody is calling the end of the world. So I don't see that uh, as a too likely scenario. And I think uh, cheap money is here to stay. So you don't think the Fed will hike, you know, four times is the latest that the market's pricing in for 2022. What do you expect this year? I expect them to do some steps in that direction, one or two hikes, and then uh, uh, equities and bonds and, you know, everybody's pension funds to take a hit, and we will be back to easing in no time. And even if they taper, you know, they certainly don't tell us the amount of taper, just the regularity and the frequency of it. And I just think that, uh, you know, the balance sheet uh, is so huge. The interest rates are uh, such vast uh, uh, amounts of money that, uh, you know, raising the rates ultimately hits the United States the most. I, I wonder how inflation affects your business, Anthony. I mean, um, what kind of return can I get if I'm lending Bitcoin uh, or other cryptocurrencies with you? And, and, and how attractive does that look if we're experiencing CPI at 7%? Well, for you, we will cut a special deal because you're such <laughs> a crypto uh, proponent for the, even at times where there were no such among the TV anchors. But kidding aside, you can get up to 8% on Bitcoin, uh, which, you know, hopefully will continue to cover uh, inflation. And that's why we had this huge influx. You know, we went to 100, 000, uh, 100 millions to now managing over $11 billion at Nexo. And, you know, it just shows that the, uh, the hunger for yield is out there and that we are part of the solution rather than the problem, bringing some normality into a space where in the traditional markets you have to go very deep into the junk bonds to even cover inflation. Yeah, absolutely. In terms of your business, as we said, you've got over 3 million users. You're in more than 200 jurisdictions. What kind of growth is Nexo expecting and how does regulation play into that? Well, regulation is a huge topic for us. We always welcome uh, clear rules with regards to what we can and cannot do and how we should uh, structure our businesses. We are happy regulators of finally taking notice of the space and hopefully something productive, business friendly will come about, especially in the U.S., because I don't think that any country can afford it, uh, to stay outside uh, the, the, the whole cryptocurrency 
uh, um, universe, especially with the metaverse slowly but surely uh, emerging. And you know, uh, I remain uh, choose to be optimistic with regards to regulation. Mm. Uh, and you know, we are proactively working with some of the regulators on that to help them build those loops.